So Kiapa makes some pretty awesome replicas as well as some amazing originals. Today, we're gonna to be looking at one of my favorites, the Little Shard in Tito LR. Uh, uh, uh. As with all Kiapa stuff, it comes in a really unexciting case. Uh, a really unexciting case indeed. But that does not spell of the gun that is inside. Inside this wonderfully crafted cardboard case, we have this. A 2-2 shot rifle. A scaled down, miniaturized rimfire Sharps. So here is the miniaturized Sharps. This is in fact 20% smaller than the original to compensate for the smaller caliber size. This is also available in other calibers, 22 WMR, 22 Hornet, uh, 3855, I think, as well. Not that it matters too much because this is the 22LR, which is the one that most people go to because it's the cheapest to feed. And uh, well, in the UK at least, you can use it at the most ranges. So the Sharps design has been around since 1848 and was the sort of go-to sniper rifle for quite a while, or the go-to long-range hunting rifle for quite a while. But it's not just that, it had loads of sporting purposes as well, uh, mostly by sort of commercial buffalo hunters, as well as some famous users of it in certain movies. But it is, nonetheless, a very smart machine, and remains relatively unchanged to this time, just shrunk down for this calibre. So the first thing that strikes when this gun comes out of the case is the weight. This gun only weighs in at five and a half pounds. There's not a huge amount of it. It's actually very pleasant. You have a very nicely finished walnut stock with a color case hardened butt plate. That's a beautiful feature. A little inlet top and the fit and finish of this entire gun is actually pretty awesome, I must admit. Like, there's very little you can pick holes in with it. The stock is well finished, although it is not highly figured. It's got a nice bit of fiddle back through it. It is not a plain Jane by any means. It's got enough character to be nice, but not too much character that you'd be afraid of using it. The whole action is cased color hardened. That includes uh, all the working parts apart from the barrel, the back of the breech face here, and this little peep sight, which it comes with. One thing that strikes from this whole thing is the barrel. So it's a 24 inch octagonal barrel and the bluing quality is really very nice, very black, very deep. One thing that lets a lot of these things down is the way the serial number is engraved in there, but you can't argue with that. And Chiappa Farms, Italy, 100% Italian built. Little shards, you can see there, 2-2 long rifle. This is a very nicely put together gun. And as I've said before, lacks, lacks anything. Like you can try and find holes in this. And yeah, there's, there's a tiny half millimeter gap here and there in the wood. But given this gun isn't actually that expensive, it's really very well put together. The triggers on it are pretty exceptional too. So if you pull your hammer all the way back to full cock, you can either pull the front trigger, which isn't bad in itself, to be fair, isn't bad in itself, or you can pull the back trigger to turn that front trigger into a set trigger, and it is then exceptionally light. To operate, it's the same as any Sharps rifle. Cock. Drop, as you can see. So you have a little extractor arm in here, which is nice. So that if you give it a little tap at the end, it will fly out. But everything about this is just so beautifully finished. Put your cartridge in, close the breech, hand back to full cock, pull the trigger. What this rifle comes with is this a little peep sight that goes to a little front blade sight. And what I found interesting that in the box it did not have a rear V blade, but the gun is cut ready to take bases and mounts so you can fit it with a scope or a red dot if you really want to be a heinous criminal or uh, something a bit more period specific if you feel the need. Either way, I just thought I need to share this with you. It's very rare that there's a scaled down gun that does the original justice 
That's a lie. There's a lot of scaled down guns that do the original justice. But this one does the original justice in that it ignites the same smile and fire in your heart when you pick it up. Yeah, it might not be a 4570, but it doesn't actually matter. Because when you pick this up, it fills you with that same joy. And I cannot wait for quarantine to be over to be able to have a go with this bad boy. It is going to be great fun. So I hope you've enjoyed this very brief overview of this gun. I just needed to share this with you because I was really hoping to get out and use this as I expected the owner was. But unfortunately, since we're all stuck in quarantine, well, the most we can do is at least share a little bit of the joy of how beautifully put together this miniaturized piece of history is. Guys, take care, be excellent to one another, and hopefully we'll see you soon.